After the First World War, the corporation began research to create a race of super soldiers known as humans with special abilities. When the world went to war again, these super soldiers were sent to secure victory. When the war was over, HSA extermination began to keep the corporation's secrets safe. In 1951, the hunt continues. Unless these housewives can stop it. I just made a little fresh lemonade. Allow me to help myself to a little sugar to sweeten it up then. Oh. <laughs> well, darling, before you told me about our little creation, I had some news of my own. Oh? Yes, ma'am. You are lucky enough to be married to the Milk King's new vice president of global strategy. Well, isn't that sound important? Hmm. It is a tremendous upgrade. Better pay, better perks. There will be much more travel, but whenever I'm in town, I will also have more time to spend with you in our bundle of joy. Oh, Calvin, that's fantastic. <laughs> so, in light of my promotion, I've invited some people from the office. Hope you don't mind. The more the merrier. Well, maybe we can take it in a little in the bus. Oh, I'm ah! sure I have a safety thing Stop here somewhere. It! I am not wearing this. No, Ethel, honey, we have talked about this. No matter what you say about your opinions or your personality or wanting to feel good about yourself, a man doesn't want to marry his mechanic. Yeah. Who says I even want to get married? <laughs> Sounds like someone's been into the schnapps again. <laughs> now listen, rumor has it that Calvin's had a promotion, so there'll be a whole slew of professionals there. Maybe even some awkward ones might take an interest in you. With all those men, surely someone is <laughs> interested. Is that, is that, uh, no! Is that all you think about? Huh? Well, you can have all the men to yourself, because I am not your show pony, and I am not going to this party! <sighs> Ethel! Ethel! All right, everybody, I'm going to show you the first time around really slow, and then the second time around, we're all going to join in together, okay? We go back. This is really slow the first time. Four of these. This is the basic step, okay? We're going to do one more and go into a turn, turn under the man's arm. Woo! <laughs> and again, one more time. All right, everybody, follow along with me. And put your hips into it, ladies. And don't be afraid to look your man deep in the eye. Back one more time. Here comes the turn. Around, one more time. Ready, let's pick it up a little bit faster. Here we go. That's quite the watch you've got there. Is that a cartouche? Yes, it was my father's. I have one almost identical to that upstairs. You know what? I'll go get that for you. After all that dancing, I think I have to powder my nose. <laughs> <laughs> What's a cartouche? Beats me. Yes? Miss Ruby Fitzgerald. Sir. And whom may I ask is looking for? Eth uh, <clears throat> Miss Ethel Worthington. Her friend. Ruby, what are you doing? 
you doing here? Came to see you. You can't be here. People cannot see us together. Do you understand? I know, but... Are you thick? You could ruin everything. Now go. You don't talk to me like that. What do you want from me? I would do anything for you. Do you have any idea how much I've already given up for you? I have no friends. I am all alone. And that's okay. It's all for you. There's nothing here, Ethel. I'm sorry. You've done great work as a spy for us. But if this line of work is not for you, there's no future with us. Not with you and me. You are. I was worried you had fallen in. Pearl. Look. See. Hello again. Where did you get that? It was under Kevin's drawer. Margie. What? Are those your call numbers? No. Go away. You won't go away. High temperature, short time pasteurization typically gives milk a refrigerated shelf life of two to three weeks, as we in the biz know, which is why I propose ultra pasteurization. This way, Milk King products could have a shelf life of up to three months. Three months? How impressive. <laughs> oh, you must be ultra all the time, huh? <laughs> Lee, excuse me. This is why the hunters carry those flashlights. We must be branded somehow. You think we're branded? All of us. How is that even possible? When? How? I don't know. I'll just keep rubbing. Find it? What is it, honey? Margie? What are you hiding? What's behind your back? Nothing. 
and show me. Calvin. Show me what's behind your back. This is what you're hiding. I... I'm sorry. I, I know it was your father's. Are you kidding me? The glass can be replaced. Don't you worry your pretty little head. You never have to hide anything from me. So the flashlights only illuminate the brandings temporarily. Why would Kelvin have a flashlight like that? There has to be a reasonable explanation. But for now, it's time to put on your game face and be a good wife. There you are. I'd like to introduce you to my new colleagues. Gordon Fitzgerald, Seymour Colton. I do believe we've already met. 